God bless you guys. Um, I want to say to you right now that Jesus Christ, he came to destroy the works of the devil in your life. That's what the scripture says. He came to destroy the works of the devil in your life. And what are the works of the devil? Works of, of the devil are sin and um, depression and fear and anxiety and bipolar and schizophrenia. I mentioned some of these mental health conditions. Every negative thing you can think of is the work of the devil. And Jesus Christ came to destroy that in in your life. There is no depression in the Holy Spirit. There's no fear in the Holy Spirit. But you got to get deep into them. It's like the waters of the Holy Spirit. Sometimes you're in only ankle deep and you need to get in deeper to Him. And you get in deeper by putting on the zeal of the Lord and pouring the scriptures into yourself. You get in the deep waters of the Spirit. And in the deep waters of the Spirit, they overcome the spirit of joy and all those things. They overcome depression. Depression is overcome with the joy of the Lord. And the perfect love of God overcomes fear. This is a victory that overcomes the world, even our faith. And so Jesus Christ came to destroy that depression in your life. You don't have to carry it today. You don't have to walk in it. You need to focus on Jesus Christ. Uh, it, you might have some a lot of things in your life are going bad. You may be looking for a spouse or you may be looking for a job that you want to do or a dream you have or anything. But cry out to Jesus. The, the Word of God says, Cast your bread among the waters and they will return to you after many days. You have to cast that word, that promise you're holding on to of God among the waters of the Holy Spirit and it will return to you after many days. But Jesus Christ came to destroy the works of the devil in your life. And so you need to understand this and you need to believe it. Jesus Christ, the works of the devil are sin. He came to destroy sin. You don't have to walk around a sinner. You don't have to sin. You don't have to. You can put to death the deeds of your flesh. You know. When we sin, this flesh died spiritually, so to speak. This flesh died, but our spirit is alive in Jesus Christ. And so we need to crucify our flesh and our own mindsets and put on the mind of Christ, you know. And when you put on that mind of Christ, you're putting on the promises of God. You're putting on joy. You're putting on peace. His word is those things. And so... Uh, you need to get violent with the promises of God. The Word of God says the kingdom of God suffers violence and the violent take it by force. And so sometimes you got to do that. And the zeal, the cloak of zeal, if you put on the cloak of zeal, guys, that cloak will really keep you in the works of the Lord. It's because when we become slack and we get tired of following God that we... Uh, we go about run off into sin or and we get tired then we fill that gap and our life comes up like i talked about in the last video gaps filling the gaps when we slack so we need to be busy we need to have, fill our life you, we can't be a uh, i forgot to say this in that video but i'll just cover it here and fill in the gaps we need to uh make sure we don't have gaps in our schedule we need to make sure our time is filled up doing the things of god this is why each of you guys need to ask God, what is his will for your life? Each of you need to ask this question and ask him to give you a dream. At, pray to the leading of the Holy Spirit, but he'll give you work to do because idols, idle hands are the devil's playground. And if you're not filling your life with Jesus, you're probably binge watching Netflix or binge watching something or to do. I'll tell you the truth, guys. God revealed to me a revelation of this stuff. That stuff will not take you to heaven it will actually keep you from heaven because those things are designed from the devil to fill your time so you forget about pursuing God and at the trumpet call you're not pursuing God you'll be left down here so you need to uh you need to pursue a life of prayer and reading of the word you'll have all time and eternity to uh relax so to speak but you can have joy you can there's a lot of fruitfulness in working for god i do it all the day and singing and worshiping and, and watching movies that have to do with him but if you're watching other things you're going to get filled with the spirit of those things and those contents of those things there's jealousy in those uh netflix all those series you know there's demonic stuff especially uh, no christian should be watching should be watching what do you call it the walking dead 
That's spiritually representation of the people who take the mark of the beast. They'll be like the walking dead. So you get those demonic spirits in you when you watch those kind of movies and been to watch those TV shows with people with filthy curse words coming out of their mouth. That contaminates your spirit, guys, so you won't have the sensitivity of the Holy Spirit. So you need to not watch those. Don't listen to anything. Don't be saying filthy words and don't be listening to anything. Jesus came to destroy those works, the works of the devil in your life. So, so don't build up those works. Forsake the devil, you know. Forsake the way the foolish, it says in Proverbs, and live, you know. Cling to Jesus Christ. Hold on to what is good. Hate what is evil. And we need to, we need to get a zeal for the Lord. And that zeal, guys, in that zeal, you'll see the destruction of the works of the devil because the cross is a powerful thing Jesus did taking on all of our sin on the cross he destroyed the works of the devil and so we need to not build up the works of the devil we need to forsake them and cling to the cross and speak of the cross in our life and carry that cross in our life and that cross that we carry will be linked up to the cross of Jesus Christ and it will destroy the works of the devil in our life if we carry our cross and deny ourselves that will destroy the works of the devil because Jesus already did it for us. But we need to walk in the victory and uh, we need to walk in the victory and we need to hold on to that victory because Satan is trying to take it away from He wants us to give it up. He wants us to get off the path. You have to walk in the spirit of joy in order to have joy. You need to pursue a life of joy, a life of peace, a life of love. And... I know it will be all, all hard, and I've had people try to manipulate that and, and say, because you love, you know, therefore, you know, you're supposed to do this. You know, I've had certain people in my family that have asked for money if I, I'm good, I'm donating and stuff. I've, I've made a lot of money through the years, and they want money just to do what, you know, like uh, wanting a bunch of money when I got uh, my mom's house sold and everything, and I spent that and paid off debts and everything but for what purpose and a lot of people want to take advantage of that love and they do that but people the bible says we're commanded to work with our own hands and to eat our own bread so idleness is the way the devil comes in is when we're not doing those things we should the devil accuses us to god before the throne of heaven he says this person isn't working they're not working in your vineyard they're not telling people about you or they're not doing this they're not doing whatever God commanded them. And he said they're they're slothful in this. So let me come in to this degree. And God does to a certain degree. But guys, if if there's a, there's a girl, Jane, here you watch some, a lot of my videos. I noticed you're very uh, prudent in the Lord. And you have the fear of the Lord. But I want to say to you, trust in the Lord. Or your name's Eva, I should actually say. You told me uh, that was the name of your screen name, G Jane. But uh, Eva um, and, and everything. Just do not fear. And, and if you've had a, a food problem or anything like you mentioned, just uh, drink some water. I found out times when I drank a couple bottles of water, it made me more full and I had less food. But uh, practice worshiping God. Practice getting the spirit of joy because when we eat, we're really trying to do it because we have some kind of void we want to fill. But if you fill that before you have a meal, if you fill that with Jesus... And with joy and everything, you won't have such a craving for those things. So just think on the things that are pure and lovely, guys. Jesus came to destroy the works of the devil in your life. I speak that, I prophesy that over your life in Jesus' name. It is done. He who has an ear, let him hear.